What's up, LB3 here. Uh, today I'm having some issues with the Dyna. I'm getting a misfire. You can tell, I'm not sure if it's an injector or a spark plug. So I went to Harley and I bought a set of spark plugs, uh, a gasket that I was missing on the air cleaner. And I had the original injectors, so if I need to switch those back, I will. But I'll show you guys kind of what it's doing. Hopefully it's not the fuel pump. If it is, then I have to get back in there and troubleshoot it, but I'm hoping it's not. So yeah, I'm gonna start with spark plugs. Um, see what that does. I got a little spark checker to see if I'm getting, maybe it's a coil pack. So I'll bring you guys with me. So that's pretty basic uh, troubleshooting. I'm gonna just take your plugs off. Take your uh, 5 8 spark plug bit or uh, socket. So I don't have my tool to check for spark. So I'm gonna do the little ghetto and just touch it to the block and see if it sparks up. And I'm getting spark on that one. So since I went and bought plugs anyway, I'm switching them. So I was getting spark on this one, so I know it's not the ignition coil on that cylinder. And the bike rode good. Me and my dad were riding to his house and it rode good there. There's no issues. And then all of a sudden on my way back home, it just started putting and getting misfiring real bad. I almost couldn't make it home. Not spark plugs. All right, so I was able to find the uh, original injectors just in case I see something wrong with these aftermarket ones. So a uh, half inch wrench takes the, the tank off. And I'm not gonna take the whole tank off. I'm just trying to get room so I could get this side on the injectors. All right, so here's what we're thinking. My check valve worked before, but it's not closing now, so it's leaking gas. So I'm thinking maybe something got in it that I didn't clean. Not leaking anymore. And if you 
guys stick around. I do have a surprise to show you guys. Whether I get this fixed or not, I'll still put this video out. Um, I got something new I'll have to show you guys. Some may hate me, some may not. So let's do this again. I'll just take a little gas. ready and then I got my ground grounded okay so that's pretty clean is it obviously be careful this is gas so you don't want to mess around with anything flammable Missed the spit. Blowing back. This is one of the factory ones that I thought was bad, maybe clogged. So let's try it. This hmm. sucks. That one's good. So I'm gonna just keep that one out. It's not worth the hassle. But a little nine volt battery, ground negative, some speaker wire connector. Find your positive, your negative, and it's marked right on the injector. And that'll tell you if you got a good injector or not. So I'm gonna put this one in. Go from there. I think that's it. All right, so I got everything back together. I basically reversed everything I did. So to sum it up, we changed spark plugs, which I don't think it needed it. I want to say one of the injectors was clogged. It wasn't spitting, misting. It was kind of spitting. Um, what else did we do? We changed the filter and that's it. So I think I got it all wired up right. I'll start up first time with you guys. Let's see what happens. putting everything back together um, I forgot to plug in the injector plug so I had to take it off then I broke a fuel quick connect so I had to go get that so I upgraded the quick connect and I'm gonna fire it up for the first time and see if we got it uh, not it going. Thank you, Jose, for being my camera guy. Uh, let me show you guys the surprise. So I was able to get a, I know my Vacora guys are gonna hate me, but I got a, a Harley CBO 110 is a Road Glide Ultra. And it has a window. I just took it off when the grommets broke. But uh, this is it. Real pretty bike, super fast, super clean, only 11. 11,500 miles. Uh, so I think, I know you guys are gonna hate me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to maybe build this one up or do what I wanna do with this one. So that's a surprise. That one will be for sale. I'll post it on Facebook. If you follow me on Facebook, go on there. Um, I'll have it posted. And uh, yeah, that's it. So nothing against uh, the Kawasaki, I love it. but. This has way more options and I'm tired of taking Harley parts and making them work for a uh, Kawasaki. So 